All right, Mr. Obi, what are you here to explain to us this evening? I like making s'mores, but I also like doing things really well at the same time. So I've designed, devised a, uh, a system. I think the problem with s'mores is the cold chocolate. It's a product of the environment. It's sitting down here on the ground. You know, it's not in the refrigerator. It's just not in front of the fire. So I figured the easiest way to melt the chocolate would be sitting on the graham cracker, but how do you get the fire really to the graham cracker? You set it on a rock, you melt one side of the chocolate, that's not good enough. So what I've created is this little aluminum foil oven here where you put the chocolate on the graham cracker in front of a little reflector that melts the chocolate in the amount of time it takes you to roast the marshmallow. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these because you can't. So we need a piece of aluminum foil. It's not exactly square. It needs to be longer than it is wide. And one of the short ends, that's going to be the very top of the oven. So what I'm going to do is kind of fold the, the corners over so that we have like the top of the stop sign. And you need to pay attention to which side you're looking at. The shiny side has to go toward the fire. So then what I'm going to do is make these little Z-folds to kind of shorten the edge to make the middle bigger still. Do a bunch of those until it makes a little kind of a dome shape, kind of like the, the back of an amphitheater. So then I also have a rock. The right size rock is also important. It should be about the size of the palm of your hand. It's important to hold the tin foil down so it doesn't blow over in the wind, but it also it needs to be movable and placeable so that you can get it in the right spot. So we found this one, and I'm just going to stick it here in the bottom, the part that I haven't folded yet, and fold the aluminum foil around it so that it's a little base, the rock's right there. And then the cone, the amphitheater, is around the stage. And the rock is all making it nice and stable. So you gotta make sure you got a nice flat spot there because the graham cracker has to sit on that. And if you see the chocolate starts to melt pretty quick and it can run off. So level is important. Which one's yours? Got some nicely melted chocolate to go in the middle of the s'more. And obviously, the chocolate is very warm and messy like a s'more. <laughs> right, back to the construction. We've got our rock inside our little tin foil dome. Oh, and wow. then I'm going to find a spot on a rock, put it, so it'll be right in the path of the flame. So a little extra tin foil on the bottom is important to help you actually keep the, the graham cracker level. And of course try it out with just a graham cracker before you possibly lose valuable chocolate. So you got to kind of bend the aluminum foil around to make sure that it makes a nice little stable platform. So then we need some chocolate. The next thing that we're innovating here is not just using chocolate in your s'mores, but putting in some of these peanut butter and chocolate snacks. It's is on amazing. the internet. Yes, it is on the internet. That's not my idea. But now you know if you didn't before. So now we have Reese's sitting in the tin foil. And then we'll roast the marshmallow, which I like to take a long time to do, so we'll probably fast forward. Mr. Obi, do you want to talk about the importance of uh, roasting a proper marshmallow? Definitely. Uh, I hate it when people just burn their marshmallows and say, no, I like it burned. <laughs> um, just take the time to do it right, the way I think is right. And I think it comes out so much better. I mean, you'll see I'm kind of on the side of the fire that's whole fire in the middle, but I'm kind of on the right side. I do that so that I get the edge of the marshmallow instead of just the very top. Um, another thing I think is very important is just spinning it slowly, but in uh, a hot spot next to the fire so that it gets nice and golden brown all the way around. I'm going to go back the other way because I see and you can kind of tell if you, sh if you like wiggle your stick a little bit, get the marshmallow 
moves kind of like jello, then you know it's melted in the middle. Otherwise, you get cold marshmallow, and that's not good. Jiggle it. <laughs> Jiggle it. Just, uh, oh, it's falling off. It's, it's falling, falling off. So that's, that's definitely a dead marshmallow. Don't panic. Don't panic. We have the technology. Now, my Reese's is very, very nicely melty. And then one on the top. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I think is the perfect s'more. And yes, it's messy. That's part of its charm. <laughs>